Hey guys, welcome back to DCS. And look, the Hornet is here. Yes, she's finally here. The F-18C has finally made it out into DCS. She looks fantastic, doesn't she? And I have the VFA-87 uh, skin. She looks absolutely fantastic. Now before we, we get started, a couple of disclaimers. One, the F-18 is in uh, early access. So it's not feature complete yet. So it's not a, a fully ready, uh, fully finished uh, module. They, they're still working on it. Uh, all of its features and components are not complete yet. It's an early access. And two, um, in this series the, uh, that I've started basically for DCS, it, it'll be called learning the uh, so-and-so, such-and-such uh, airplane. So for example, this video is titled Learning the DCS F-18C. Now I might do that for other aircraft. Now one thing you need to know about this video right here that you're watching, this is not going to be a quick tutorial. Now I personally would not dare make a tutorial for a DCS module which I have not um, played with for a while. I've only had my hands on the, uh, D the DCS uh, F-18C for the past three or four days so not not a long time at all now so this is not going to be a quick tutorial however that being said you can use this video as a guide um, to learn the F-18C uh, um, but however I wouldn't consider it as a tutorial a quick tutorial now this is just me sharing uh, my learning process of the F-18C with you guys so basically I'm going to be learning it and I'm going to be sharing that learning process with you guys now I've, I've had a couple of questions uh, recently, a um, couple of messages on YouTube, people asking me to do a um, how to get started in DCS. Now this will sort of cover that as well. So if you if you don't have any experience with DCS and you want to, um, you know, basically know where to get started, th this series will probably help you as well. Okay, so let's get started. So first things first. So when I get my hands on a module on a brand new module in DCS, the first thing that I do is that I look for the uh, um, flight manual, basically the documentation uh, which tells you everything that you need to know about the aircraft that you want to uh, learn how to fly. Now there's a reason why DCS is called a study sim. Yes, you need to uh, study the aircraft or the module that you want to uh, learn. It's a, um, it's a quite highly detailed uh, um, simulation of the various different uh, aircraft that's in the in DCS world. Now the uh, document for um, the various different modules can be a little bit uh, hard to find if you're just a new beginner so I will add that, uh, that I'll add the location for the documents um, on the screen so you guys should be able to see it now uh, it's, it's in the uh, DCS folder and I will have it written as a text on top of the video so you guys if you decide to get a module and you want to know where the uh, document is it's there now after I get my hands on the document uh, generally I begin to read it but uh, some documents can be very lengthy for example some can be six to seven hundred pages now that's really really intimidating for somebody who is just starting you know um, DCS so normally what I have found that works for me is to chop up that uh, uh, manual into various different bits. Um, so basically study different sections as you go. Don't try to tackle the, the whole thing. So don't try and uh, start to read the whole thing and try to uh, understand it all at once. It's going to be very complicated. Now for the um, F-18C, the manual isn't out yet. The full manual isn't uh, released yet. We only get a uh, smaller version of the manual. It's, I think it's 150 pages. <laughs> yes, 150 pages uh, is small. Um, now, the first thing that I do, the first, uh, very first thing that I do when I want to learn a module is I want to go ahead and uh, try and familiarize myself with the cockpit. So with every single uh, switch and dial, I'll try and familiarize myself. Okay trying to know what their names are, what their functions is, and, you know, what basically what's in, what's everywhere, you know, what's what. Now, obviously, we uh, I will try and learn the stuff within reason. 
like you know the most obscure switch or dial here and there I will not need to learn like in the first uh, in the first session so let's get started so immediately we can see uh, the three different screens here these are called DDI's uh, DDI left left DDI right DDI and this one is called the MPCD multi-purpose uh, color display now let's let's start looking at some of these switches here so that uh, one good really feature in DCS is that you can just hover your mouse cursor on any button and it'll tell you wh what it is so this is your fire extinguisher button this over here is the uh, left engine fire warning as well as it will tell you if your fire extinguisher is ready this is the uh, master caution button over here is the uh, left left side uh, caution and advisory lights you know uh, like lights for example these two lights are for your left and right bleed air uh, bleed air um, compartments and then you've got your speed brake uh, light here um, obviously there's a reason why it's called you know cautionary and advisory lights because some things might be more severe and some things might just be you know not 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 a problem just letting you know that something's there and over here we have the master arm switch obviously up to arm down in safe and then you've got the uh, master modes air to air air to ground you can select them with these two buttons and you've got the brightness uh, knob here for the left DDI the contrast and then to turn it on day night time and obviously in the middle you've got the HUD uh, that's that this is going to be your primary uh, flight uh, uh, flight instrument basically and then over here to the left of the HUD you've got the uh, indexer lights for your AOA your angle of attack indicator um, basically if you're trying to land uh, on an airfield or on a carrier and now here in the middle you've got the UFC um, the UFC is basically what you use to um, interact with the different systems in the aircraft so you want to punch in a a um, frequency on the radio you do it here you want to uh, tell the aircraft how many number of bombs to drop you do it here uh, you want to uh, dial in a TACAN station you do it right here uh, autopilots and so on and so forth IFF you know it's got it's got all this stuff written listed down here and you've got two different radios COM1 COM2 this is the volume knob for them obviously and this is the ADF automatic uh, direction finder um, basically a, a very simple um, rudimentary um, navigation system the brightness uh, knob for the uh, lights uh, over here on the UFC and down here this is the uh, HUD uh, control panel so basically this turns on and off the HUD selects the different modes day night um, various different things and then the uh, right DDI again same controls same as the one on the left again we've got a set of uh, advisory and caution lights for the right side we've got an APU fire uh, uh, switch right here if there is a fire in the APU this will let light up and again same as the left side we've got the uh, right hand side engine fire um, light as well as the ex extinguisher um, indicator um, down here we've got a bunch of uh, standby instruments so this is the uh, backup sort of instruments as well as the RWR so you've got the uh, let me zoom in for you guys you've got the uh, standby um, so just in case the uh, the HUD fails you can you can fly off these of these instruments obviously this looks like the old-school aircraft so you've got your um, artificial horizon your standby um, airspeed indicator your st uh, standby uh, altimeter and then your standby vertical uh, velocity um, indicator so if you're going up or down okay uh, over here uh, so like guys I need to mention something like not every single switch and dial at the moment is mentioned in the uh, in the manual for the F-18C uh, I've been through the manual twice sort of read the whole thing um, twice trying to make sense of everything not everything is listed obviously this is early access we're going to get a much more detailed uh, um, manual later on so this switch right here it says IR cool normal off override that's for the AM9s AM9 Sidewinder uh, seeker heads 
you can pre-cool those just to get them a little bit more um, effective um, down here this screen right here is different from the the, the two DDI's this is called the, uh, as I said MPCD the multi-purpose display screen this can um, display a moving map a color moving map as well as uh, ground radar and up here you've got the uh, heading select as well as the course select uh, switches obviously the uh, knob to turn on and off the MPCD switch it between day and night and and along the side of all these DDI's and MPCs you've got the different uh, functional buttons that uh, will correspond to something on the screen so for example the FCS page will light up here and you click that and you go to the FCS page um, down here is uh, the ECM control panel the countermeasure in C, uh, um, ECM control panel um, now the best thing to do f uh, for a situation like this is to go clockwise to go from uh, sort of the left to the right most checklists are done that way but just you know for the sake of it we'll uh, we'll do everything here and there <laughs> we won't do them in any order so you got your backup compass here as well your magnetic compass standard stuff um, okay now this is the this part is very important of course you've got the uh, push to jettison this is the um, uh, emergency jettisoning of your uh, the stuff that you're carrying on the wings and on the pylons and everything uh, I think it's it won't jettison some things like you won't jettison some uh, offensive uh, capabilities so just in case you know you come up against a bogey and you, you think you need to jettison your fuel tanks and your bombs or whatever but you, you still have some missiles left so that's that and obviously this handle right here is the uh, canopy as it says the name on there canopy, uh, canopy jettison um, uh, latch so you pull this the canopy uh, gets blown off um, okay now over here is the uh, selective uh, jettison um, button so basically if you want to you know dump a specific uh, pylons uh, store or a specific wing tank or missile or whatever you do it from here so obviously the center left inboard right inboard left outboard right uh, outboard now when you press it a, uh, a green triangle will appear and then you'll come to this dial right here with the selective uh, jettison dial and you've got the uh, left fuselage missile right fuselage missile rack launcher and then stores so whatever it is that you want to um, to jettison you'll select the appropriate thing right here and then you'll switch that to that and then you'll just hold jettison and it will uh, hopefully jettison it for you now over here we've got the um, they call this the integrated fuel and engine indicators if I'm if I'm remembering it correctly it's called it's called this right here the IFEI so basically it shows you everything that you need to know about the engines as well as the fuel all in one panel so if I zoom in um, so up the top you'll have these two um, boxes right here will display engine RPM left engine obviously is it's labeled and then right engine so everything on this side has to do with the right and then the left so RPMs up top now if I if, I don't remember this off the top of my head but I think it's uh, engine RPM um, I think it's um, fuel flow down here um, engine uh, EGT e engine exhaust temperature uh, in the middle your nozzle positions your engine nozzle position as well as the oil pressure down here now over here uh, this is your fuel um, uh, fuel gauge basically digital fuel gauge up the top is your total fuel that you have including your uh, internal and external wing tanks uh, down the bottom is the uh, um, total internal fuel uh, and down here you can set your uh, bingo fuel so you can set uh, what um, amount of fuel you want to set for bingo and you can do that with these two arrow buttons right here and obviously this controls the brightness for this panel right here and down here you'll have um, a couple of uh, lights that indicate your uh, your landing gear position if it's down and locked as well as the, the flaps uh, so that's that's that for that side um, let's go ahead and get into this uh, 
left vertical panel. Now obviously a very important handle right here, it's, it's your uh, landing gear handle labeled in red. Um, the selective jettison dial we talked about, emergency parking brake, as well as the parking brake, uh, brake pressure um, indicator, so how much uh, hydraulic pressure you have in your uh, brake system. Obviously it's, it's in PSI by a thousand, so normally it should be at 3000 PSI of brake pressure. You should have that uh, when you start the aircraft. Um, obviously this be, this is a Navy jet, so this is designed for the US Navy. And the, the, the primary um, function of the US Navy's aircraft is to take off from carriers. So you're going to have various different uh, elements to do with, you know, launching from a catapult and then, you know, obviously landing back. So over here we have the uh, um, the launch bar, okay, launch bar control, retract, extend. And here we have the flap control, so automatic. Most of the time while you're flying, it will be in automatic. If you want to take off, it will be in half. And if you want to land, it will be going down to full, which is written down there. Um, so this is the anti-skid um, control, basically similar to your car's ABS system to prevent the wheels from skidding. Uh, landing gear slash taxi lights on and off uh, and then you have the uh, hook um, bypass so basically you have two selections for it carrier or field um, and over here you have the fire test A and fire test B um, so basically this tests for um, fires in the engine compartments left and right the APU uh, as well as the bleed air compartments as well so let's continue on uh, this panel right here the because like at the first when you when you come into an aircraft like this like you know the the f-18 the a-10c or whatever it looks very very complicated and it, it looks very intimidating with all the different switches and you know dials and you'd be like oh my god I'm never going to learn all this stuff you know but when you go into the details of it everything is broken down into really simple um, bits, different parts and compartments, and it will all make sense uh, after you read the manual and you practice it a couple of times. So over here uh, we have the uh, ground power panel, basically different things to do with the uh, ground power when you when you connect ground power. Now you can s start the jet, I can start the jet right now just using battery power, onboard battery, or we can just uh, start with ground power. Or if we don't want to start the whole jet and we want to power a specific component, we can do that with the uh, ground power. Now, over here, obviously, we have the uh, the throttle of the two engines. The F-18C has two engines. The left uh, throttle, obviously, left engine, right to right. And you've got the... Uh, so this is a HOTAS uh, aircraft, so hands-on throttle and stick. So you pretty much have everything that you need on the throttle as well as the stick, all the different buttons and whatnot. Now over here we have the um, external lights, external light panel, formation lights, um, position lights, you know, and the strobe lights, the intensity, you know, make it dim, make it more brighter, so on and so forth. Um, okay, over here we have the uh, APU switch. So this is what you use to, uh, th this is the auxiliary power unit. So this is what you use to uh, turn on the engines and then the engine crank, uh, uh, switch so you've got left and right engine crank uh, options now over here I think this has got to do with the uh, the fuel panel you can extend the uh, ref air to air refueling probe with this switch obviously you can dump uh, fuel right here so it, yeah it's labeled for us right there fuel so this is the fuel panel everything to do with fuel and this is the uh, FCS FCS panel so basically the uh, fly-by-wire computer that will be uh, basically flying the aircraft uh, for most of the time while you're in the air. Obviously you've got the reset button and you've got the trim button. Now trim is very like this the F-18 is my first aircraft uh, that is completely fly-by-wire. Like uh, I haven't flown a full fidelity fly-by-wire aircraft and this was the first. You, so um, as I wanted to say like um, you don't use trim a lot in fact like I've never had to use trim in the past four days that I was flying the uh, the f-18 
and obviously you've got the uh, different volume uh, knobs right here volume control panel you know for um, so for TACAN for RWR for um, various different st stuff the volumes that you can control um, and over here we have the oxygen um, buttons and switches to turn on the onboard uh, oxygen now some of this stuff isn't mentioned in the uh, in the um, manual so I won't, I won't know what they are um, obviously they're labeled you can read them the ILS, IFF um, and over here you've got uh, four different circuit breakers for the various different systems over here and I think this button right here is the uh, countermeasure um, yeah there you go push to dispense flare and chaff so countermeasure dispense uh, dispense button now let's get to the uh, right right vertical panel as well as the right uh, horizontal panel now over here we have the uh, radar altim altimeter um, basically you can set the uh, radar alt altimeter um, uh, deck warning so it, it goes off uh, hundreds of feet so um, it goes from I think 10 feet all the way to 5,000 feet I believe you can set the uh, the deck for yourself with the radar alt altimeter and then you've got the um, hydraulic pressure gauge here in thousands of PSI um, over here this is the uh, hook basically this is the uh, arresting hook for the F-18 as I said is a Navy plane so I'll show you guys the hook right here right between the two um, engines you can see the hook Now, if you bring this hook, this uh, lever down, the hook will be down. And another really, really cool feature about the um, F-18 is that you can fold the wings, guys. So this, this is what you'd use to uh, fold the wings. So you bring it out, and then you put it up to fold. And what it does is that it folds the wings right from up here. Basically, the wings fold up, so it's uh, it's easier to uh, store on a ship. Obviously, on a carry, you have limited uh, uh, storage space. And again, we have a bunch of uh, uh, caution and advisory lights here. Um, I don't know what this switch is. I think it's something to do with oxygen, with the oxygen system, emergency oxygen. Okay, so over here we have the uh, electrical panel. Basically, this is our um, our battery. Um, yeah, there we go. It's labeled electrical. Yeah, it's electrical panel. So basically, here we have the um, uh, battery. Um, what are they? What what is it called? It's the um, the voltmeter. Yeah, the basically the the battery voltmeter. Um, you've got the uh, left and right generators. Obviously, the center one is labeled B A T T. Is the battery? You have the on position to turn it on. Um, right here, this yellow thing is the uh, arming of the ejection seat. You have to have this down for it to be armed, and then the uh, ejection seat. Uh, handle you can pull this when this is down it will eject you from the aircraft even if you're on uh, you know like this like sitting here on the runway let's say like god forbid something happens you can pull this and it will eject you out of the plane um, and next we have the environmental uh, control uh, panel so basically uh, everything from the bleed air uh, control uh, knob uh, the anti-icing stuff cabin pressure, cabin, you know, and suit temperature, stuff like that. So that that's all right here. Next, we have the um, lights, the internal lights. Um, is it, I couldn't read the label here. It's, it says, yeah, basically, inter, yeah, internal lights. It's abbreviated, obviously. So you've got the different uh, um, knobs and switches for the internal lights, consoles, you know, floodlights, chart reading lights, as well as a test switch for your warning lights and the uh, brightness of the various different uh, uh, caution and advisory lights over here and here um, so that's that and then you have the sensor panel so basically this is your radar labeled radar here currently it's in the off you have standby and operate as well as pull emergency I don't know what that is um, then you have your INS basically your inertial navigation system you can have it in off, have it in ground, CV, um, 
and then you put it on nav so you put it on i the, from what i understand is that when you have it in ground it will align itself and then once it's aligned it will let you know on the, on the uh um the mpcd or on the uh, ddi it will tell you that it's it's uh, um aligned itself so you can put it onto nav and it will give you navigation and this stuff here i have no idea what it is it's not mentioned in the uh in the manual over here we have some more uh, circuit breakers uh, for the stuff here and then over here we have the uh, canopy um, control switch so um, at the moment it's open the canopy is open obviously and if you hold the switch to the close section now, now this is a spring-loaded uh, switch you have to hold it in close and it will just come down and then you can you can hold the canopy wherever you want so for example you want it half open you can do that obviously you wouldn't want that if you're taking off um, you'll hold it down and it will go in and it will lock so that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much it for the uh, F-18C Hornet on, in DCS um, next so typically this is what I do I try and familiarize myself with the different uh, uh, stuff in the cockpit sort of get get a rough idea of what what's where and then the next thing that I will go to immediately is that I will go to the uh, cold start procedures. Now, as I said, there's no point in reading the whole manual all at once. Okay, there's there's going to be in a full manual. There's going to be a lot of information that cover the systems, like various different aircraft systems that you might not be interested. In. And frankly, like uh, it it has like no relevance to you if you just want to fly. Do you know what I mean? So what I do is that. I learn the different uh, switches and all the stuff in the cockpit, familiarize myself with that. Then I'll immediately go to the uh, cold start procedure. So basically how to turn it on. How do you turn on this aircraft? I will uh, learn that and then basically I, from that I'll go to tech, taxi and takeoff. And in between I might learn the uh, radio system as well, you know, so that I can you know, communicate with, with uh, ATC and other aircraft. And then I'll learn the landing. So this is the the, the main stuff that I learn is the cockpit familiarization, uh, start uh, um, aircraft cold startup, taxi takeoff, as well as landing. So I'll practice that for a little while until I get a hang of it. I can start the aircraft uh, off the top of my head from memory without having a list, and I can safely you know take off and then safely land, and then do the shutdown. Obviously, when I when I understand this process. It is then that I will move on to other systems like navigation, you know, weapons, air to ground, air to air, you know, stuff like that. More complicated stuff. And it will all make sense. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video about the F-18C Hornet. Uh, the next video in this series that I'll be doing is about the uh, cold start. So until next time, bye bye.